Hey guys, how's it going? This is Andrew again from Advanced PCs, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Microsoft Office 2013 slash uh, 365. Uh, let me just do a quick distinction between Microsoft Office and Microsoft Windows. Um, there are a lot of people that still really don't know the difference between the two. Um, when you hear Microsoft Windows, this is what Microsoft Windows is, the operating system, which is your start button. You know, when you click, you know, your, your ability to click on start you know, clicking on your folders and kind of just looking at uh, your, your different file settings, uh, having your taskbar. That's the operating system. Um, if they ask you what version of Windows that you're running, this is what they're referring to. Okay, I'm running I'm running Windows version uh, uh, Windows 7. Um, how do you find out? You can click on Start, go over to here to Computer in Microsoft in Windows 7. That is, and right click on Computer, go to Properties and you're presented with this information. So you have Windows Edition. I'm running Windows 7 Professional. Uh, it gives you the service pack, plus it gives you some other useful information that you know about your computer, which can be useful. Okay, so that's Windows 7. That, that's Microsoft Windows. Microsoft Office is separate, is, is, is a separate product. Think uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or Outlook you know, when you think Microsoft Office, okay? So let me show you what I mean. So I have Windows, not not Windows, but Office 2013 installed. Actually, it's Office 365, but it shows up as um, Microsoft Office 2013. So you go here and click on Microsoft Office 2013 and you see what I'm referring to. So you have Microsoft Word 2013, you have Word, uh, Outlook, uh, Excel, out, um, what's the other one? PowerPoint. These are among the like among the popular ones. Um, that's all under the Microsoft Office suite. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. If you still have questions about that, uh, just shoot me an email at Andrew at advanced bcscom um, and I'll be glad. I'll be more than happy to to further explain. Okay. So for window for Office 2013, um, what what the latest version of Office is 2013. I just said that. Um, but you have now what's called Office 365. Office 365 is an online version of Office, Microsoft Office. Okay. So to get started, if you wanted to upgrade the version of Office that you're running on your computer, let me show you how you get started, how you can do that. You could do a, subs a subscription base. And I think it's actually a, a pretty cool feature. Um, version of office that is you know office 365 because what happens is you're updated live you always get the latest version of office that gets pushed to your computer so you would go out to office.microsoft.com if you wanted to get started with upgrading um, your version of office now you can do for home or for business for home let's start with home really quickly and you have different ones that you can choose from. If you wanted to go with the $9.99 per month package, this gives you uh, the package of getting Office installed on five PCs or five uh, tablet devices or phones, five PCs or Macs. Um, you can do this at $9.99 monthly, or you can do, I think it's like $99 for the entire year. The benefits, of course, you do it yearly, you save some money off the top, the benefits of doing it monthly, you get a chance to, um, you know, you pay as you go and you can cancel at any time. For the um, individual package where you just have only one PC or one tablet or what or what have you, um, you know, you pay six ninety nine per month or you can, um, I think it's like 70 bucks or something, something like that for the entire year. You save off the top just like you do on this one if you pay yearly, um, but you pay as you go monthly. And these are the benefits. These are the the uh, what comes with it pretty much. Uh, online storage, you get up to a terabyte, which is pretty pretty good. Um, so you can get access to your 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 documents online. Now to get started, you'd have to create an account. Just go on Microsoft.com, create a live account. I'm not going to get into the details of that for the sake of time of this video. I just want to show you guys the door to get started with Microsoft Office 365. Now that's for the home version. For business, it's a little bit more in depth. It requires a little bit more because it's specific to your organization. It, depending on how large your organization is, you can pretty much, you know, you can start here and just see, see the plans and pricings um, and you see the different packages that are available to you 
uh, it, this is, you know, uh, business essential. This is a five, you know, five dollars per user per month. Uh, uh, um, business 365 business and you have business premium. And these are the various the corresponding prices, per you know, depending on the package that you choose. And these are the things that you get. Um, obviously, you know, with, you know, just follow the check marks. OK, so this is pretty much, you know, how you would get started. Um, a cool thing with with uh, with Microsoft with Microsoft Office 365 is that you know you could share documents online, share a calendar online. Everything is done in real time. You can be one person can be here in the states, another person can be overseas in Europe, uh, you know China, wherever, and you guys can be sharing your calendar and your um, um, as, as well as your uh, your your files or document if you're working on a project together. So you know it's 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 vers it's versatile in that manner. You know for organizations, um, but uh you know just wanted to get you guys you know pointing you in, in the right direction. Um, but I'm not necessarily going to get into like the full details of how you can you know go ahead and get started. If you know for further assistance on you know how to get started with the package, creating the accounts and all that good stuff. You know, you can always reach out to me at, at Andrew at advanced bcscom or www.advanced bcscom All right. So pretty much in a nutshell, that's what Microsoft Office 365 is all about. All right. And um, pretty much that's it for this video. If you have any questions, again, I just gave you the information. OK, um, again, so this is Andrew from Advanced VCs and Advanced VCs. We keep it simple. Take care, guys.